the life of a soybean. It all starts in late winter when the soil has warmed just enough. That's when we know it's time for the next grow season. Then, farmers need to pick the best seeds for their field. Here, the farmer has a very important decision to make. Each type of seed is unique and has specific traits that may appeal to different buyers. Plus, the farmer must choose the best possible match for the geography, climate, and season in which it will be grown. I think we found our winner. In the spring, after preparing the soil, the farmer will then plant each soybean seed roughly an inch deep in the ground. Now we set up the irrigation. Advanced technology ensures that the seeds get just the right amount of water and fertilizer that they need. And then it's time to wait. As the plants begin to grow, the farmer is still hard at work ensuring the fields are free of pests, weeds, and diseases. When fall arrives and all those seeds have grown into fully mature soybean plants, they are ready to be harvested. Once the beans have been carefully harvested, they are then loaded into a truck and sold to a grain elevator facility. The grain elevators store the seeds safely while they search for a processor who will buy them and turn the seeds into oil and meal. This complex process cleans, cracks, and dries the seeds before being flattened into flake. Some of the flake is stripped, distilled, and refined into oil, and the rest is toasted and dried to become meal. Once processed, these new soy products are then sold to distributors and wholesalers whose job it is to find a proper use for them. The oil produced from the soybeans is used mostly for the food we eat, but some of it is also used for fuel and industrial purposes. The majority of meal produced from soybeans is used to feed livestock, but it also goes into many of the soy-based foods we eat, from tofu to soy milk, even protein bars. Winter is almost over, and all the soybeans have been put to good use, and it's time for our farmer to pick out our next batch of seeds. Here's to another bountiful season.